Anyways, folks, today we're going to make a sardine sandwich again, poor man's uh, lunch. Okay, and for this we're going to grab some doggone, uh, let's see here, Beach Cliff Sardines. Make your mouth go beepity bop, okay? So we're going to get some beef and sardines. Get some bread over here. Uh, Some bread, some mustard, the most important ingredient, you need mustard, and some onion. Okay, let's crack open the bread. Hopefully it's still fresh. It's been in there for a while. God dang, open the mouth. Open up, bitch. God, don't, man. What the hell? Don't make me... Grab some napkin. Put that there like that. You pull the bread out here. Some people say you shouldn't eat bread gluten. I don't care. Shit. I gotta work tomorrow. I need I need gluten to get fat. Okay, and then you put the slices of bread down here. Very simple, folks. And all you do is you open up the can of sardines ever so gently, like Chef Bongongo says. <clears throat> and you'd want to drain that oil. You might get stoned off of uh, too much oil in there, you know. Uh, uh, pollution hang on and once you drain the oil folks now we could soften the bread up put it in the microwave for a quick minute but you know f screw it we're gonna eat it so now once you crack open the damn sardines then all you simply do is you put the sardine whatever they're called into bread like this okay and it ain't really too complicated there's no fancy chef school you must go to to learn this technique. I learned it just from being hungry and a bachelor over the years. Now this bread we're going to turn that way. This bread will turn this way just to see which one gives us a more contoured eating experience. Okay? And then we're going to drop some tuna on this. Get every last bit of that. Well, I paid money for this. Be doggone, I'm going to let any of this go to waste. And I got it at a dollar store. The green one, you know, the green sign. The one you always see up in the ghettos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Of course, nowadays, dollar stores are everywhere. I think they got them things out in Beverly Hills, too, nowadays. You even know people filling this economy. All right. And we're almost done. Folks, believe it or not, you might want to chop up some onions. Okay, just put a little dad, little onions in there just to kind of add a little... Um, moho flavor to it. A little red onion there. Okay. Don't wait. You know what I'm saying? Just slice a little few slices. Put that right down there like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, blood purifier. Okay. Now the funnest part, ladies and gentlemen, that I like doing the most is dabbing the mustard in because this, this is what adds the sex appeal. This is like the whatever of uh, making a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? This is like the Viagra. Anyways, let that let that they dribble out there and dribble. You can stir it up a little bit too if you want to be fancy, like Chef Bimbo from the uh, network uh, cooking uh, people. And just a little gab it on like that, you know. Gab it on a little bit like that, you know. All right. And do we need anything else? A little tobacco sauce never hurts. Let's loose, use some Louisiana uh, hot sauce. Shake it up a little bit. Let's dab that in there. I could feel my lips perking up already. And then dab it in like that. And folks, that's basically it, man. You've got a sardine sandwich. It's packed full of nutrition. I don't know why mothers, parents, anybody, grown people need to go to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's when you got got uh, Anderson's uh, sardine sandwich right here. Now, you know, there's only one thing left to say, uh, and that is to eat it. Or like Michael Jackson always says, just beat it. Oh, and folks, I almost forgot to add this right here, which gives it some pico gale taste. And that is basically salsa. It just adds a little 
Mexican or Salvadorian uh, um, um, zing to it. So yeah, don't be afraid to experiment. And in this case, I'm putting some salsa sauce in there. The little vegetables. Give it some zippity zap when you eat it. Hopefully it won't give you diarrhea, but... Okay. And I add some pretzels for a side dish cuisine. So if the uh, restaurant up there in New York needs a top chef to come um, cook y'all people some down-home regular food, I'm the one. Alright, we're out. Time to eat.